morning. I just finished boot camp, hence why my hair is sweaty and disgusting. You're not gonna believe it, it was actually snowing this morning. Snowing in Arizona. I mean, not a lot of snow, but it looked like little balls of hail, but it was actually snow. When I set my mat down on the ground, you could see it accumulating on my mat. It was actually really cool, and it's funny how excited people in Arizona get when it snows or what we like to call snow. My friend Kate was saying that people literally hunker down in their house. They don't go anywhere. They don't go to work. They don't go anywhere when it snows because it's so uncommon here. I don't anticipate it sticking. I mean, it's not sticking at all. And it's supposed to be a nice day today, but it was really interesting. It kind of gave me like Washington vibes because coming from Washington in Spokane, especially with all the snow, it was pretty crazy, but we had a incredible workout. I'll pop up here on the screen my stats from my workout. I am tired. My arms are so sore. Like I can barely hold my phone up to film. My lower body is sore because I did lower body at the gym yesterday. So today I am definitely going to take it a little bit easy, allow my body a little bit of rest time. I'm going to help Troy clean the house today. And I have some coaching calls and just some fun things going on today. So I did have half ish of my protein coffee this morning. I'm going to go ahead and finish that when I get home, get ready for the day, and I will see you guys at breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich. After I work out, I always like to carb up a little bit. I try to place my carbs where they benefit me most, and after my workout is really important. So I'm going to make up a breakfast sandwich. We're going to have some fruit. We'll mix up our post-workout BCAAs, so that we can recover, help with muscle soreness. So for my breakfast sandwich, I am actually going to use a Western bagel. Now I just placed an order with Western bagel. I haven't had them in a while and I forgot how amazing they are, how low calorie, low point. They're just a really good bagel alternative. And these are full size bagels, 120 calories. This is the roasted onion. They have eight grams of protein. So it's just a really good, choice for a bagel. Make sure you buy the ones that say alternative bagels, not their regular bagels. I will link Western Bagel down below with 10% off for you. So I'm going to throw one of those into the toaster. I'm going to add two slices of this pre-cooked bacon. I'm going to throw that in the microwave, get it nice and crispy again. We have our farm fresh eggs from a local lady here in my community. She delivers these to your doorstep for $5 a dozen, which is cheaper than the grocery store. And these are fresh from her chickens. I am going to spread a wedge of Laughing Cow cheese, and then I'm going to eat the last few of the grapes that we have in this little container. So let's make breakfast. So here's my breakfast. This looks so good and smells so good. So I have my laughing cow cheese on my roasted onion western bagel, one egg, two slices of bacon, and some grapes. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Let's try this breakfast sandwich. Like I said, it's been a long time since I had a Western bagel. Mm. I mean, look at that. This is so good. Like I said, those Western bagels, they taste just like regular bagels. I definitely get the roasted onion. It is so good. It's so crispy. I am definitely, definitely glad that I bought some more Western bagels. I also love grapes. As soon as I get done eating breakfast, I'm going to go mix up my BCAAs because I am so sore. My butt hurts so bad from my lower body workout yesterday. All the squats, lunges we did at boot camp today out in the snow. Speaking of snow, it is still dropping little flakes here and there. I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera. 
I'll try to see if I can capture some of the snowflakes falling. They're not sticking, but it's really cool to see snow in Arizona. I mean, cool, but not cool to see snow in Arizona. I also will share with you my outfit that I'm wearing today. I found these slippers that I'm wearing and these leggings that I'm wearing on Amazon for such an affordable price and they're so comfortable. And then my sweatshirt actually is from Timu, which was part of my big try on haul that I posted on Sunday. So I'll link that video if you missed it. And it wasn't in my try on haul, but I do have a reel on Instagram showing this sweatshirt and how I paired it with some jeans. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, come join me over there so you can check out that reel. I'll see if I can insert the reel here on the screen for you so you can see this sweatshirt in action. And then I'll show you my entire outfit for the day today. I do have a coaching call here in about an hour. So I want to make sure that I get my BCAs, BCAAs mixed up, finish my breakfast before that coaching call. I don't know that we'll run any errands today. I kind of need to go to the Dollar Tree. We'll just see where the day takes us because if it's going to snow and be really cold, I'm not sure that I want to venture out. Okay, so here is my outfit. I'll get up a little closer so you guys can see. But we are living the comfortable vibes today because if it's going to snow, even flurry out there and it's cold today, we're going to be comfortable. So first thing is my sweatshirt. Like I said, this was in that reel. This is so soft and so comfortable. It even has pockets and it's a good length. So if you wanted to wear it with leggings, it's definitely long enough. Super, super cute with jeans. And speaking of leggings, these are kind of a flare leg and they are like a super high waisted legging. I got these on Amazon. They are so buttery soft and so incredibly comfortable. You could even wear these out. They look really nice. They look very, very chic. The flare leg definitely gives it a different vibe than just your traditional legging. And then my slippers. These are the most comfortable slippers. I like more open-toed vibes than closed-toed vibes. These are that teddy bear material, so super soft, super fluffy, also from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link everything down below for you. My sweatshirt from Timu, my leggings, and the slippers from Amazon. I am, like I said, going with the comfortable vibes today. I can even just throw on some shoes and wear this out if I do decide to run some errands. You guys always ask what I'm wearing, where I got my clothes, so that is my OOTD for today. So I'm going to mix up my Motivate Amino. This is one of my favorite BCAAs post-workout supplements. It really helps with muscle recovery, soreness. It tastes really good. I have the flavor pineapple mango. It is so good. It dissolves beautifully as well. So I just put one scoop into either my Lululemon bottle or my Stanley cup here. So anywhere from 32 to 40 ounces. Add in my water. And if I'm mixing it in my Stanley cup, I use my little handheld frother. I actually got this off of Amazon and this just helps mix up the powder really well. If it's in my Lululemon bottle, I just shake it up. But in the Stanley cup, I like to use my little frother and then ice. I will link Motivate down below for you with the discount. You guys know how much I love Motivate. I use at least one, if not a couple of their supplements every single day. The amino, absolutely delicious. All right, it is morning snack time. I'm in my office working away. I had one coaching call. I have another one coming up here shortly. And I'm a little bit hungry. I have a really good lunch planned today, so I don't want to overdo my morning snack, but I definitely don't want to go into lunch really hungry. That's something I do not recommend because that's when we tend to overeat. So I'm going to have one of the little perfect bar snack size bars. These are the minis. These are delicious. You find them in the refrigerated section, kind of by the yogurt. I got these ones at Walmart. They were in my epic healthy snack haul. I'll link that video down below if you missed it. These are so good. They're peanut butter, they're chocolatey, so they kind of satisfy that sweet salty vibe. And then I still have a few of those snack mates for kids, pizza flavored little sticks. So two of them is a serving. These are actually really, really good and they have perfectly, perfectly clean ingredients. Actually, both of these have nice clean ingredients. So I'm gonna do two of the little meat sticks and my perfect bar mini for a morning snack. Also for reference, I just wanted to show you the size of the mini bar. They are just the perfect snack size. It got sunny out. The little flurries have stopped. I tried to get them on camera and it didn't even show them because they were such minor little flurries, but it is sunny now. It is still a little cold. My car says 55 and that was in the garage. So it's probably 
even colder than that, but I have a little bit of time before my next coaching call. I'm going to go to Dutch Brothers. So thank you to whoever suggested trying Dutch Brothers. I think it was someone who lives in Oregon. I had a coffee the other day from them and it's so much better than Dunkin'. The only thing about Dunkin' is they have all these great deals where you get like free food and free sh extra shots and $2 coffees. But if it's crappy, it's really not that good of a deal, I guess. So I'm gonna go to Dutch Brothers and get a coffee. Like I said, it was absolutely delicious. More expensive than Starbucks, actually. At least what I got was more expensive than Starbucks by like 50 cents, so not very much. And like I said, it was absolutely delicious. I'm also running to the Dollar Tree. I need to pick up some little cards, you know, like the little thank you cards that you can buy in the packages. I need to buy a few of those for my challenge group on Facebook. I include those with the giveaways. And then my lovely husband wants a sub from Jersey Mike's, like a steak and cheese sub. I'm not going to get anything because I have some turkey burgers cooked at home and that's what I'm going to have for lunch today. I'm going to stay on point, stay on track, really get in my protein. I do like the Jersey Mike's subs a lot, but they're just way higher calorie, way higher fat, way higher everything. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with my turkey burger. So when we get home from running errands, we'll have lunch. But first things first, Dutch Brothers. So I'm officially at Dutch Brothers. It's interesting because they come and take your order. You don't pull up to do an order. So you have to kind of sit and wait for somebody, but I'm excited because my coffee was so good last time. So of course I'll show you guys what I get. Let's see if it's as good as the last time. Amazing. So good. So what I get at Dutch Brothers is a 24 ounce iced Americana with two extra shots because it only comes with two shots and I like four shots in my 24 ounce. And then I just get sugar-free white chocolate. That's it. It doesn't need cream. It doesn't need milk. And it is so good. The coffee is so rich and flavorful. I haven't had Dutch Brothers in at least 10 years, at least, maybe even 15 years. And I was telling Troy, I'm like, well, I don't like it, but my subscribers keep telling me to try it. So I'm going to try it. I'm so glad that I did. I would rather spend the extra money and come here than to Duncan when I'm in Green Valley. So Dutch Brothers is in Green Valley, which is about a seven minute drive for me. Now, if I'm just sticking around home, it's Starbucks or Duncan. But if I'm coming to Green Valley... I'm officially gonna be a Dutch Brothers girl. I even downloaded the app. They gave me the points for my drink. So good. Next stop, Dollar Tree, which is in the parking lot of Dutch Brothers. Super, super convenient. And then we'll go pick up Troy's sandwich. Okay, Dollar Tree haul. I picked up just a few things. First, I grabbed a Valentine's Day card for Troy, and then I grabbed one for my mom. And then Dollar Tree has a Dollar Tree, like an extended part of Dollar Tree that's more than a dollar. And they had this six foot hanging Easter garland for $3. And I thought that this would be really cute on the table for Easter because I'm sure my in-laws will come over. Or I can drape this in the background of my videos. I just thought for $3, this was super, super cute. It would be like $10 at Home Goods. And then what I went there for were the little note cards, just different patterns and designs for the giveaways. I did need some emery boards. I have been not having acrylic nails. I have dip right now. I'm kind of tired of having artificial nails. They're just a lot of maintenance. They grow out, then they snag, then they get caught in my hair, then they break, then they lift. So I may just go to gel manicures and I never had emery boards because I always had false nails. So I did pick up a two pack of emery boards and then I found this super cute heart scarf for the 5K that I'm doing with my boot camp group for Valentine's Day. I think I'm just gonna tie it into my hair. Last but not least from Ioni, which is my favorite lash brand at Dollar Tree. I picked up some eyelash glue because I I used up the rest of my eyelash glue today. So it was $12 for everything. And actually some of the cards were 50 cents a piece. And then these little packs were only a dollar. So I don't understand why it's some's 50 cents, some's a dollar, some's a dollar 25, some's is three, some is three dollars. I don't understand, but 12 bucks for all that I thought was a steal. So now I am going to Google where Jersey Mike's is and go pick up Troy's sandwich. I did not bring my coffee into the Dollar Tree. Last stop, Jersey Mike subs for Troy. This sandwich right here, $18.
That is insane to me. $17 and some change plus tax. I told Troy this better be the best sub Philly cheesesteak thing he's ever had. Holy moly. That means if we would have both got a sandwich, it would have been almost $40. So for lunch today, I am having a turkey burger. These are those Jenny O turkey burgers I bought in my grocery haul. I just cooked all four of them. Up. I've been eating them for lunch. They are super, super good. I just put some seasoning on there. And then I have some vegetables. I prepped a bunch of veggies on Sunday. So I have celery, radishes, and cucumbers. And then I made my favorite dip with my favorite green onion dip mix. So I'm going to have veggies and dip. And then on my turkey burger, I'm going to put about a half a tablespoon of this no sugar added honey mustard. It is so good. It's pretty high in points and calories, but just half a tablespoon is like 30 calories, one point, and it adds just the perfect flavor to my burger. So here is my lunch. I have my turkey burger with my honey mustard, my dip. I'm doing radishes and cucumbers. No celery today. I'm going to stick with the radishes and cucumbers. As always, it is on my Uba home plate. I have several of these. I love them. They help with portions. They help keep your food separate. You guys know I love the pre-portioned bowl and storage containers. I just love this company in general. They are coming out with some new products. So of course I'll get them and share them with you, but I will link the Uba home website down below with a discount for you. And I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen. I just got a delivery from Amazon of my favorite protein waters. You guys ask me a lot about these. Um, I will link them down below for you. They have 15 grams of protein, really good. No protein aftertaste at all. And I just have them automatically shipped to me. There's three different flavors. Super, super good. What you saying? What you guys doing? Tell daddy, yes, tell. Tell him. Yeah, it's a crazy. Yeah, tell daddy. Tell him, Lola. Tell him. So for an afternoon snack, I'm going to have some of my Simple Mills cracked black pepper crackers and a cheese stick. So I like to have a cracker and a bite of a cheese stick, kind of like cheese and crackers. And then I just mixed in an Element Mango Salt Electrolyte Packet into my water just for a little bit of an electrolyte boost. I'll link Element down below with a discount for you. And I think that's going to be my afternoon snack because I have a really good protein packed dinner and really extra special protein packed dessert to share with you. All right, lemon tree update. A few of you guys have asked. Look at how huge my lemons are getting. They're finally starting to get pretty soft. I was really hoping that these super cold temperatures wouldn't affect them, but they are flourishing. I mean, these branches are super, super heavy. We actually have them tied to our fence. That's how heavy they are. So I can't wait for all of these to get nice and ripe and ready to go. So I have lots of lemons. I give them to my neighbor, my mother-in-law. I just feel really blessed to have such a thriving lemon tree in my backyard. What you guys doing? Get him, Lola. Get Palmer. Get him. Yeah, get him, Lola. Get him. Get him, Lola. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, get him Lola. Yeah, get him, Lola. These two. And then this one. Diesel. Buddy. Hey. What you doing? Are you scratching your back? Oh, by the way, you guys, Diesel's 11th birthday was on Sunday. He's officially 11 years old. Yeah, you. You're officially 11 years old. I can't even believe it. Oh, and we have these Meyer lemons. Yeah, hi, buddy. We have these Meyer lemons from this tree, which they're gone. I mean, I guess there's a couple left up there, but these have been falling like crazy. So we've been just tossing them over the fence for the javelinas. For dinner tonight, I am making sheet pan shrimp tacos. This is literally the easiest recipe ever. Perfect for a busy weekend or weeknight. Let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need taco seasoning or you can make your own. The original recipe tells you exactly what seasonings to put together, but I have it on hand, so I'm going to use that. I am going to top mine with some light sour cream. You'll need minced garlic, lime juice. I'm also going to add some salsa. These toppings are optional. You can add whatever toppings that you would like. You'll need some shrimp, fresh cilantro, coleslaw. This makes a nice kind of crunch to the shrimp taco. And then I'm actually going to use the lavash flatbread instead of 
tortillas just because this is what I have on hand. I'm just going to cut it in half and do one half of the lavash bread. Oh, and one more thing you'll need is some butter. I didn't grab that out, so let me pull out the butter and we'll get the shrimp in the oven. So to get started, pull out just a cereal bowl and we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. Minced garlic, I'm just gonna put what I have left in the jar, which is hardly anything. About a tablespoon of lime juice. And then your taco seasoning. And then stir that up until mixed. So we're going to place our shrimp in a single layer on a sheet pan. I did go ahead and spray mine with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to take that butter mixture and put that right on top. And then I like to kind of stir it all together to make sure all the shrimp gets coated. And then the shrimp is going into a 400 degree oven until it's cooked through. My shrimp is raw. If your shrimp is pre-cooked, it's not gonna take very long. You just basically wanna warm it through. But mine is raw. The shrimp is out of the oven. I did cut my lavash bread in half, added some sour cream. And then the tacos make six total, so we want about one sixth of the shrimp. And then to doctor up my taco, I am going to add some of this angel hair cabbage. I really like the crunch and texture that gives the taco. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of queso quesadilla cheese. Some salsa. And then I chopped up a little bit of fresh cilantro. And here is my taco. This looks so good. I cannot wait to dig into this. Like I said, you can put whatever toppings you want on it. The recipe points, calories and macros will be here on the screen. And that is for just the shrimp itself. So the calories and everything in the shrimp, the sauce that is on it. And again, all of your tortilla choices and toppings would be additional, but I mean, it's one point for the shrimp. So really, really low point. And we used real butter for that really good decadent flavor. For dessert tonight, I'm making one of my favorite protein packed desserts with the exception of protein pudding. Stay tuned, that recipe video is coming out on Sunday, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on. But this is another one of my favorite desserts. So I do one serving of non-fat, plain Greek yogurt. This one is 170 grams for 100 calories. And then you're going to add whatever protein powder you want. This one is my favorite for this recipe only because there's little chocolate chips and bits of cookie in here. This is the Ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder, 25 grams of protein plus 18 grams of protein. So it's super, super high protein, super good. I like to top it with just a little bit of whipped cream. And then for this one, just about a teaspoon of mini chocolate chips right on top. So I'll show you exactly how I make it. It is seriously so good. I like to make it ahead of time and put it in the refrigerator because that way it gets nice and cold. So I'm going to start with 170 grams of the non-fat Greek yogurt. And then one scoop of the Ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder. And then I just stir that together until the powder is completely mixed in. And here's what it looks like. You can see the chocolate chips in there and the cookie bits. And then again, I just like to throw it in my fridge so it's nice and cold. And then right before I eat it, we'll add the whipped cream and chocolate chips. So here is my dessert. So this is my yogurt. Chips Ahoy protein powder, a little bit of whipped cream, and mini chocolate chips. This is almost 40 grams of protein, so I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So it ended up being a really nice day today. A little chilly, but we've got sunshine, so that always makes me happy. But I thought I would hop on really quick, close out today's What I Eat in a Day. So I enjoy, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Everything I shared with you will be linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.